Hi, this is Suze Leventero, and we are now on Gemini. We're doing uh, current energies in this week, see what pops up, and uh, for couples and maybe even loosely involved. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, so there's some, uh, I feel like there's some uh, Taurus cusping energy here. Okay. Yeah, I feel like there's some Taurus cusping energy here. This was on the bottom. Okay. All right. I'm getting like renewal, renewing the vows, like that kind of energy, like g going back to that feeling. Okay. In the beginning, that kind of thing, right? Adam and Eve in the beginning. So it's like uh, that feeling you had in the marriage in the beginning before all the stuff happened. Okay. Now. Okay, I thought this was for, uh, hold on a second. Okay, there was this thing here that the partner went to the races, the horse races, and it's coming in this part too. I don't know what that is. Okay, I do. So you felt left out. Okay. For some of you, that could symbolize feeling not connected to spirit. So that's connecting through your inner self, the ethers, that energy, through going within and connecting, like getting off the internet and really tuning into you. Okay. Okay, so what does that mean? That means find those quiet, intimate moments to communicate, right, your feelings to your person instead of just doing, uh, sending it on the internet. Now, some of you uh, travel a lot, so that could be the uh, reason why you were doing that. But when you're together, it's calling for you to um, kind of take those swift moments that you have, those impulses to uh, really connect to your person. Okay, and go back to that feeling before all the stuff happened. Okay, and then, because I feel like your person has been uh, waiting for you, actually. Okay, so, um, and waiting uh, for you to take the lead. Okay. Okay, so what I'm getting is... Any invitations you get for group stuff, uh, go do that. Okay, so we're getting ready to go into Sagittarius Moon, I feel like. But uh, the key is to uh, get out and mingle, but then also do things just the two of you. Okay, because some of that Taurus energy is coming here. And find those intimate moments to really connect and celebrate each other. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Okay, so then I feel like you can bring that that uh, that great feeling back, right? Um, and I feel like that's been your inner call, okay? But all these other things happened, and it was like putting it on the back burner. And then now here it is, to turn the wheel, to bring it uh, to this new 
high vibing place. See, and I feel like some of you are traveling and doing long distance things, but remembering to uh, connect then in that case and uh, send loving messages. And then so when you do come back and the wheel turns back, uh, that why does I, uh, turns forward, okay, then you can match up together. The frequency will match. The, the um, vibration will match. Okay. So here is, I feel like, so in remembering to show the warmth that is you within. Okay, because you got wands here, but I feel like this is what you're doing. Okay. And I don't think it's intentional. You know, it's like, I think a lot myself, and when I do that, I get those two lines in between my eyebrows, right? Okay, it's like that. You're in deep thought for work and stuff like that. And then that face naturally looks like you're mad or something, right? Okay, because you might have a lot of expressions on your face. Okay, so relax that face, right, when you come back together with your partner, Okay, that's what I'm getting from your work day or whatever it is you're doing. Okay, and I feel like that will... Okay, so no, I'm not suggesting Botox. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like all that stuff. <laughs> but what you can do... Okay, here's something they're giving me. They have those stone rollers with rose quartz that even now you can put a battery in it and massage... It can roll on your forehead, okay, in your third eye region, and that can warm up the area, okay, and relax your face so that when you're looking at your partner, your partner can read that energy, how you really feel inside, okay. All right, so that's what I'm getting for you this week, Gemini, okay. All right. Okay, so let's see. I got mine at the beauty store. Okay, the one with the battery in it. Okay, but you probably could order it online. Uh, and here is Love's Embrace. Okay, this might be a fun activity. Okay. Uh, do, okay, so you could do um, roll each other's face with, let me see if I could find, oh, I still have it on the table. Hold on. This has been sitting on the table for a while. I forgot about it. Okay. All right. But here is this, right? And you can roll your face with it. And they have these ones. Uh, I have one that I never used. And it's like um, you, you can put a battery in there and you can roll your face. Or you can just get a manual one. Okay. That's what I was talking about. And, and you could uh, take time to do that on each other's face. That might be fun. Okay. All right, so let's get some sparks here. Act like tourists in your own city or town. Okay. Yeah, just within a 20-minute region or a 30-minute area, you probably could find all kinds of things. Stay in bed together all day and binge watch your favorite show. Okay. Celebrate a recent accomplishment of your partners. Create a relationship bucket list. Did I already pull these? Okay. All right. There you go, Gemini. Thank you.